What is up guys and welcome back to the Concrete Edge right here on Deco Creek TV. Oh, thank you guys. Uh, my name is Jeff and on today's show, we're gonna go over when to tie two concrete slabs together and when to avoid it for certain situations. So stay tuned and you're gonna learn all about it. So is it a good idea to tie two slabs of concrete together with dowels? I mean, well, kind of like a lot of other things in this business, it just depends. And this topic does come with a little bit of debate and that part of that might be uh, dependent on where you live. So most of my experience with pouring concrete comes from pouring in freeze thaw environments. And in that case, this is pretty important. So in some situations, not dialing those slabs together could end up causing some problems, but in other cases, dialing them together would be a big mistake. And most exterior concrete like patios, driveways, sidewalks, either are not gonna have any footers underneath of them, and those are gonna be known as uh, floating slabs or a slab on grade. I mean, even though the area gets excavated and the concrete gets poured on top of a compacted base, I mean, it is still just sitting on the ground. Now, there is certainly nothing wrong with this at all. I mean, if every slab of concrete had to have a foundation underneath of it there would be a lot less slabs out there and that would be sad no god please no 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 now there are other slabs that are poured on a foundation and this would be things like house slabs or garage floors or i mean pretty much any other interior slab of concrete and concrete wall now the thing to remember is that if the slab is poured on the ground it is going to move but the one on the foundation is not. And for that matter, I mean, neither will that wall or any other vertical structure that's on a foundation. And the easy answer to this is to never tie a floating slab to anything that's on a foundation. I mean, if you do, there is going to be some problems. And when you're pouring up against things that are on a foundation, the best thing to do is to use expansion joint. That way that floating slab can move up and down freely without binding up. And we do have a full episode on expansion joint. So please check that out if you're unfamiliar with it. So this is the situation where I was talking about not tying into a foundation. So, you know, we got this nice uh, solid piece of concrete here that yes, we could drill holes into that and tie this together. Uh, but I'm telling you, if we had done that, it's, it, this would all be uh, cracked up here. We'd probably have some spots busted off where the concrete, you know, this concrete that I'm standing on is gonna try to come up. Those dowels are gonna hold it back, but this isn't gonna let it go anywhere and something is gonna have to give. Now, in this case, you know, we got expansion joint here. We actually have this built out. Uh, right here with this uh, with foam so it can come uh, up past this little channel here and you know in the winter time it honestly this slab comes all the way up you know to this channel maybe even a little bit uh, below and right now you know we're in the springtime and it's already settled itself back down and so tying these together would not be a good idea at all so this is another situation where it is never a good idea to tie uh, this slab to this foundation right here, even though this is really tempting because we have this stone that's coming out over the concrete. And you know, it, it's a lot of people's instinct is to tie this thing to the foundation. That way this slab can't come up and ever bust these stones off. But I'm telling you, if this was tied into it, there would already be a crack here because there is no way that we're gonna stop this thing from coming up and down a little bit. In this case, the expansion joint back here, so the concrete can move up and down. And that's why we leave this inch gap here under our stone. That way that thing can come all the way up and it's never gonna to touch those stones and it's gonna go right back down in the springtime. Now, if you're pouring new concrete up against a pre-existing slab on, that's on the ground, then yes, tie them together with dowels, or if it's a large job uh, that's gonna require multiple slabs and dialing them together is definitely a good idea. I mean, that way they're gonna all move up and down as one. And if you don't tie them together, I mean, you could end up with some height difference uh, over time and they might even separate a little bit. So pretty much this entire parking lot uh, that, that we're standing on and what's behind me right now, as well as our front lot, everything up there, th these uh, slabs were all poured at different times. I mean, honestly, there's a very few of these that are actually tied together uh, from a fresh pour of concrete. And as you can see, they are all uh, completely level still. There's very little separation between these. And this is the whole point is that, you know, even though we poured all these, sometimes these are years uh, between pours, but everything is nice and tight and even, and that comes from dialing these things together. Now, if the slab that you're tying into is pre-existing, you can drill the holes with a hammer drill, or if it's a multiple pours on, a, on the same job, you can use some kind of a quick dial system, and that just makes things a lot easier, and you don't even have to worry about the drill. Now, for more on this, please check out our Technique of the Week episode, where Jason takes you through the whole entire process. So, to recap things real quick, 
never dial concrete slabs together if one is going to move and the other one isn't uh, or it's also never a good idea to tie a floating slab into a foundation of a house or a wall for those kind of situations just use expansion joint now it is a good idea however to dial the floating slabs together and this is going to help the slabs uh, stay even over time and reduce separation now, if you guys found this video helpful, please let us know by just hitting those couple little buttons down there, like, uh, share, share it on social media, uh, subscribe button. If you haven't already done that, hit that one right there. It doesn't cost you a thing, and it means the world to us. And don't forget about the Decorative Concrete Expo. It happens every single March. All you got to do is click the link right down in the description for more information. So, from all of us here at Decocrete TV, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.